Alrighty guys, welcome to another unboxing of some Mutant Mania. This is actually round two for me guys, so check it out. This is the packaging. You saw it in the last video, but here's another nice close look up. Um, it's fantastic, it's really deep, like really colourful, and um, quite a lot going on if you know what I mean. Uh, so you've got Mutant Mania across the top there, Mix and Match Wrestlers. This is round one, so this is the first series they've brought out, and this is Moose Toys, um, who have brought you Trash Pack and Shopkins, I think. Um, yeah, so check it out. So in this pack, this is the eight wrestlers and a can edition. So you've got two wrestlers that you can see on the front there and a can. Stretch and connect. Okay, so this is the back. So as you can see at the top there, it's got a bit on the glow in the dark ones you can get. On the right hand side there, you've got some just details on the figures. Double trouble mutant wrestlers. And then a bit of a diagram there of how you can mix and match your wrestlers. Following it down, you've pretty well got a list of all the different types you can get. So you've got Mutant Men, Brutal Beasts, Reptiles of Rage, Robo Mutants, Robo Mutants, <laughs> and Evil Zombies, Astro Mutants, which are the Ultra Rares, and Insectozoids. One other thing I like to do, guys, is I like to point out the ones I'm chasing. That way, when we open it up, if I get them, that's fantastic. Just a bit of fun. So, in the Mutant Manias, I want Dumb Skulls, and right there, Chumper Stomper. In the uh, Brutal Beasts, I'm chasing, right there, Jawsome, and Triceratops. In the Reptiles of Rage, I want Killer Cobra. Now for the Robo Mutants, I'm hell chasing, right there, Thriller Driller. In the Insectagoids, last time I actually got the one I was chasing, so I'm going to choose something different this time, guys. So I'm going to go for Leg Breaker. For the evil Zomoids, I'm trying to get Brain Pain and Mutant... Whoop, sorry, and Mutant Beard. And guys, the Astro Mutants are the Ultra Rares, but funny enough, I'm not interested in any of those. If I'd had to choose one, I'd probably choose the Sludger. But, yeah, I'd be happy to get anything else, really. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Let's open this bad boy up. When you open it up, you'd think the, uh, the minifigures are going to be in the can, but turns out they're actually not. They put them in the sides here, take these off, and right in there you've got all the minifigures ready to open. You've got some rules there, got some rules here, and your standard fold-out thing. Okay, so this is the sheet that it comes with, guys, which is just a checklist. So again, I've already shown you, but this is all the characters, and on the back side you've got more characters. The uh, descriptions of what's rare, what's ultra rare, what's common, what's limited edition, all that jazz, and the instructions on how to put them together. Um, one other thing I didn't point out is each character is available in standard colouring and... Well, that's what the double trouble is, guys. Some of them are translucent. So let's see what we got. Okay, so this is one of the ones that I could see in the packet on the front window there. So this is a Robo Mutant. His name is Hammered Head. I'm just going to quickly show you how they go together, guys. So you've got a spine, which is rubber, stretchy spine, You've got a head, a body, and legs. These parts are completely interchangeable between wrestlers. So, I'll show you how to put one together. What you do is you get the head, you jam this in, and you pull it tight across the bottom. Locks the head in. You do the exact same thing with the legs, push it in the hole there, pull it tight on an angle, and you end up with this. Hooga, 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 hooga. Body just slides straight in, and bam! That's what we got, guys. That's Hammered Head. He is a robo mutant and he is bad ass. Next up is the other one that we can see in the packet, guys. This is a brutal beast and this is Raging Rhino. This one's already together, so I'll just show you what he looks like. Hell buff and tough, buff and studly. Look at him. Chain neck lace, classic wrestler attire, and the mohawk. Very nice, a lucky year. Here's an example to you guys. We'll just take the body out of this one. Take the body out of this one and interchange, just so you can see what they do. Look at that. Killer, killer, killer. And he actually looks quite good with that. Hammer fist, it's hammer time. Okay, the rest come in little bags like this. Let's open it up and we'll see what we get. The first mystery character I've got is a reptile of rage and this is Chokeout. He is like the cop, not a cobra, he's like a snake character. Wrapped up, holding a stick of some sort. Got a red tinge on his head and he's just in standard wrestling attire. Okay, the second one we've got is a translucent, and unfortunately guys, I don't know if the translucent are more rare. Let's have a look. No, they're the same. It's just, they're harder to see the detail. I like the colored ones, because this guy here took me a bit to find. This is Wart Warrior. He's one of the mutant men 
If you look at him close up, he's got some great detail, like all these sludgy legs and he's got some grime and he's wearing a headband, but see, you can't see the headband, you can't see the clothing. It's a little bit of a shame in the translucence, but that there is Wart Warrior. Okay, next up, we've got another translucent. This guy is a uh, insectozoid and his name is Pesticide. It looks like he's a bit of a cockroach character. Again, because of the colour, the colour suits him, but here we go. He's got some little arms at the front here. You're not going to even be able to see them. It's a bit of a shame, guys. But uh, yeah, that's Wart Warrior. Nice body sculpt on him, actually. He's impressive. He is impressive. Another translucent! Far out! Look how many there are! This is another Reptiles of Rage, and this is Death Roll. He's the alligator character. Sweet tail coming around the back. It's, no, it's missing at the back there, but you see it hook around the side here and around the front. Awesome alligator head and awesome classic wrestling attire with the two arm straps. Very, very cool. Okay, another translucent, as you probably all guessed, another translucent. This one's another insectozoid, but awesomely, this is the insectozoid I was chasing. This is Leg Breaker. Shame that he's translucent, but still, very cool to get the one I was chasing. And the detail on him is nice, not sloppy at all, very crisp. And lucky last, I'll build it in front of you. This one's different, actually, because he's got a black, um, a black spine. All the rest are green, so I don't know if that means anything. Cool, though. This one's not translucent, which is fantastic, and to make it even more fantastic, boom! Check it out, guys. This is one of the ones I was chasing. This guy here, and now I can't find him on the sheet, of course, of course. Uh, just speak among yourselves while I find him. <laughs> this is an evil zomboid. So this is my first zombie, I think. And he is Mutant Beard. Thank you very much. That's all she wrote. Lovely. That's what I love. And look at his beard. His beard is pretty well his whole face. <laughs> Holding a little dagger there. He's got a hook hand. He's actually got a parrot on his shoulder, which I didn't notice in the image. Um, surprisingly, no peg leg. You'd think they would have given him a peg leg. That's funny. Anyway, guys, that's what they look like. So that's all that. Whoa, right, coming right at the camera. That's what all these guys look like. One thing I didn't show you is the can. It comes with a can. The can has imi an image on it, which I haven't looked at yet. Here we go. Mutinaid Mutant Juice. This is very trash pack, isn't it? Look at this. If you had any trash packs, you'd recognize these. I didn't notice this before, but it's actually got some pegs on the top, so you can stand your mutants on there. Um, and then on the other side, what have we got? Looks like it's Sawtooth. I think that's his name. Uh, he is a robo. Robo Mutant, that is Sawtooth. Actually, he was one of the ones I was chasing, I should have said that before. So that's Sawtooth, the can, it just pops open. And as I showed in the last video, it pretty well fits eight mutants. You could probably squeeze one or two more in, but it's pretty well designed to hold the eight. So you can take them on your merry way and rock them out with your mates. Also in the packet, you get two spare spines, in case you lose any. In case they quick twang across the room and gone forever. So anyway guys, thanks for watching. I've been Sassy the Clown. Um, please hit that like and subscribe and you can check out any other videos I make. And these have been the Mutant Manias by Moose. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.